Got a swamp, but no cooler? Hi, I'm Levi with TLC. Today I'm gonna to show you five ways to make your evaporative cooler a little bit more efficient. I'm gonna call it a swamp cooler because that's a little bit more fun. Let's go outside and get started. Number one, make sure that there are no gaps between the pad and the frame. All outdoor air needs to go through the pads to get cooled by the evaporation process. You don't want any hot air creeping in. Number two, remove the damper. I know it's obvious, but it happens. Put it somewhere you won't forget. Number three, make sure that the pads are getting wet enough. Reposition the distribution tubes if needed. Make sure the pump isn't clogged. You need good water flow to get those pads soaking wet. It's the one time that soggy is a good thing. For number four, let's take it inside. Make sure that you have enough windows and doors open for a sufficient amount of airflow. It's easy to test, you just need a tissue. Put the tissue against one of your window screens. If the airflow is right, it will stick to it lightly. Voila, you've got it. If the tissue falls off the screen, you have too much relief air. Close the window down a little bit and try it again. Perfect. If the tissue clings to the screen for dear life, you don't have enough relief air. Open up the window and give it a little more. Think Goldilocks, not too much, not too little. Number five, when it's time to replace your old swamp cooler, consider a Convair or a Breeze Air. I won't get all nerdy on you. Just kidding, I will. Rust is a huge problem with standard swamp coolers in New Mexico. Not with Convair or Breeze Air, the outside cabinet is made of polymer that is unrustable. They use new technology and special pads to keep the indoor temperature down. They also use less water, so it's a double win. Highly recommended. Bonus tip, if it's still too toasty inside and you've tried all the things, check one last thing before scheduling a repair. Go online and search for Swamp Cooler Efficiency Chart. Here's the one I'm going to use. Cross-reference the outdoor temperature with the current relative humidity. That will tell you how much cooling to expect from your swamp cooler. For example, on a 95 degree day with 35% humidity, your swamp cooler is only going to get the indoor air down to 79 degrees. It's not broken, it's just the weather. If you're still having trouble, no sweat. Just give TLC a call. 